Rip menu music. All right, here we go. Really fruit loop, fruit loop opting for not only the Wisconsin tag, but also the uh, green Falco. I like green Falco. It's a good Falco. Ooh, nice power shield. Both these players and characters both like Dreamland quite a bit. A lot of space for Captain Falcon to move around, and at the same time, a lot of space for Falco to, like, you know, stay away from you and fire lasers and force you to approach. Oh, nice re-grab off that dare. Okay, Chris does get back on stage, though. Oh, really? I gotta make sure not to call him as really. Hey, what's up, Pooch? What's going on, Webs? Not much. Yeah. Hate, hate nice to come in the middle of a game one. No, that's fine. It just started, so. Yeah. We lost in a minute. Ooh, good back air. Yep. And that's a dead Falco. Okay. Bad DI. Alright, we got a Falco with mid percents though, and uh, knowing oh really he'll he'll be able to turn this into something if he gets a grab or anything like yeah. that. This whole edge guard situation oh, bad over. Oh, gets a grab though out of it right away. Nice CC. Did a good go. tech chase on platform. Good he, stuff. Fruit Loop had, would not have been in that position if he hadn't retreated to top platform right after a really spawn. It's so dangerous against a Ganon or a Falcon because they have that nice up air that scoops the space he's out. Yeah. And uh, that set him up in that bad situation. Oh, nice. Wow. Jabs out of that. That was kind of impressive. <laughs> I didn't expect him to get that off at all. That's one of our really favorite things to do when he gets up as Falcon. Just immediately gentlemen. Or just jab. Wake up gentlemen's not a bad option. No, not at all. Oh. Oh. Okay. No punish. Lots of footsies going on here. Got the walk dance. Oh, yeah. wow, that took his jump. I think he got sniped with laser. Yeah, that must have been it. Yeah, very nice. That's so dangerous with Falcon. You have your recovery. Like, as other characters, you can lose that double jump and still get back to the stage. Yeah, especially Falco. if you don't have as linear recovery. Exactly, but yeah. Falcon's got that. <laughs> You're going in one direction, no matter where you are. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, wow. You know what, you know what Fruit Loop's doing really well is every time he, he gets hit by that Nair, he immediately uh, DIs away and techs away. So it's so hard for a really to get any follow-ups out of it at all. Actually, um, you can you can smash DI both hits of Nair on his foot, too. Oh, so, so he's probably it. smash DI'ing out, too, just to get that extra bit to uh, push him out farther. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, the regular DI is probably more important than just smash DI'ing. Oh, my God. You can't double jump straight away. He got falco You got a sweet spot in my friend. That's a shame. Yeah, that was two quick stocks at the end right there for Loop taking game one. All right, where do you think Chris wants to go? I think he probably uh, wants to go somewhere like uh, Pokemon? Battlefield. Battlefield. Any stage in the he game? He loves FD, but I don't think he would want to go FD against a Falco. I wouldn't. No. He might, <laughs> but not us. He it's has, be, he, he has said he's, he's open to play any single stage for this <laughs> entire tournament. That's, that was the proclamation he made in pools. Yeah. He's not going to ban anything against anybody. You can pick whatever you want, and he'll play it. Flat zone, we're there. Oh, is he switching tags? Oh, Kells. <laughs> Why? Why is he wearing Kells? Thing? The Kells tag makes his Falcon exponentially worse. Look at Kells worse. right now. He's got his hands in his shirt, and he's like... He's he's Mewtwo Kinging. <laughs> yeah. Just a little Dude, bit. Dude, he is M2 Kinging right now. He's about to, like, take a nap. <laughs> he's trying to oh, point. he's cold because of the oh. AC. That's what he's pointing at. Gotcha. Yo, get a jacket, dude. <laughs> The meanwhile, 5 ones stand, sitting directly behind him, sleeveless, And he unfazed. does go FD against Falco. Wow, it is FD. Okay. Well, you Chris loves that. his stage. And he likes it too because uh, this. Oh, okay, never mind. I, I thought we're, he was going to start a tech chase right there. Were you expecting like an up air immediately into yeah, something? Yeah, well, the, the delayed up air that pops him back up mm -hmm. or like strip tech chase. Usually he waits for like mid percentage before he goes for that delayed pop up up air. Oh. Oh my god. Fruit Loop. Just catch him with his down airs. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Chris is just kind of getting dominated by Falco right now. He's doing okay. I mean, he's Fruit Loop knows what what to do though. Like right, he, he's, he's just sort of walling him out. He's making very smart decisions. Wow, yeah, low he's... angle forward tilt. Take that. That's stock the third out. stock he's lost this set on little pokes on the edge. He's got to be sweet spotting a little better. Oh, here we go. Get something started. Good patience. Oh, oh wow, predicting the roll. That was actually a sweet spot below the down here or down tilt, I should say. It came out at the right time. Just didn't quite get it. Good knee. That's a then Falco. Very nice punish on that tech of place. Good stuff, and the game's really, really close. What I always like to say is, when in doubt, just cover the in-place option, because mm -hmm. there's two of them, as opposed to, you know, away or towards, which are... Right, plus if, if, if they roll away, then you've got more time exactly. to get right. up and get out of that move. Oh, my God. That's that 2004 Falco stuff. Oh! Dead Falco? Oh, oh no! You reversed it. Frank jumping, or sorry, Fruit Loop jumping a little too early. 
Oh, oh, oh up that air. up air. That up air was so low. Very clean, just keeping him alive. Oh, he's he went, dead. Yeah. yeah. Frank is definitely going to hold on to the ledge for that one. He's a patient player. Very reactionary. Oh, oh, oh the short. <laughs> the immediate short. Handed him off. He's like, here you go, dude. Yeah, all right. Go free grab. grab. Oh, wow. And this is going to be very tough. Yeah, that's the thing, too, is uh, Fruit Loop's not going to drop anything that he gets. He's going to take any opportunity that he can once yeah. once there's an opening against Chris. and uh, rack percentage. Yeah. It's the same for both players, though, but we have been seeing it really drop a little bit more just it's, because of percentages. Well, yeah, and what a lot of what really has to do, too, is just get reads on the ground. Oh, my God, he wanted that so bad. Oh, and then Fruit Loop tried to trade stocks. <laughs> He was like, you're coming down with me. Yeah, he tried to be Falco, uh, Falcon for a second there. Yeah, he did. That was great. Good stuff. Oh, nice down smash. All right, we're at even percents right here. Last, Last stock. stock. I'm hoping this goes to a game three. Yeah, me too. I really like watching these two guys play. They're both just very, very well-versed in their characters. It's just definitely excellent to watch. Good study material for people. Oh, that laser was so low. I think it would have shield poked. That's true, man. Fruit Loop is such a textbook like spacey player. Oh, oh wow, the payback I've smashed that low percentage. Oh. First, I'm surprised we haven't seen another one of those yet. It's first time. Oh, oh wow. Okay, he didn't get the short, but he also didn't die. I thought he was dead. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was going off. Ooh, not quite getting that coverage. Oh. Wow, he just snuck in right before that second hit and there came out. Oh, Frank. Okay. He thought he was going to go low again. That was not very good DI at all from O'Reilly. Wow. I think he was expecting something from the ledge, and then just wasn't ready for just get up. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. 